crash open and they racing your way appreciated just got taken out of the way and races at the end of the field early on Everfast broke well, Prevent broke out well, Hypothetical rushes at the outside to try and get across and gets close to the lead and gets in the lead. Dubai Icons full start deep, so too is Cafu for the top, is just ahead of midfield. Then we go a length back to Remorse, who's in the gold colours and racing about six lengths off the leader. Go ones in the white and purple colours, salute the soldier, one off the rail, couple of lengths away to Ugatai, who's not too far back this time around. Roman Rosso and Appreciate are the next two, Sana Libya is one from last and the great collection is the the trailer as they get onto the back straight and hypothetical wasn't given things all that easily but he got to the lead finally over ever faster races away in second then comes Dubai icon the all blue colors a length behind the leader in third remorse holds fourth just one neck in front of prevents then comes Cafu three deep at the outside of four the top and then comes go on the pace is genuine then comes appreciated in the yellow colors Roman Rosso salute the soldier behind midfield the red jacket only about eight lengths off the leader though then comes Sun Libya, who's out in the open at the outside. Ugatai is being squeezed along and then a few lengths away to the great collection and needs to produce a miracle. So Hypothetical took them through the corner turn, the leader by a little less than one length. Ever faster second, Dubai Icon, all blue colours, gets into contention. Remorse is on the leader's back. Then comes Cafu, who's worked hard at the outside of runners but isn't touching distance. For the top, black and orange colours, appreciated. Two lengths away to salute the soldier who's getting uh, scrubbed along. There are a few alarm bells ringing for salute the soldier prevent next best then comes go on and sunad libya but hypothetical brought them into the home straight the leader by two remorse tries to bear down they've beaten off ever fast who's third kafu is fourth hypothetical all out past the 200 meters mark he's one length in front remorse trying to get out of the second box he's giving it a full go here but hypothetical turns it on again and hypothetical kept him at bay hypothetical beats remorse third Close, ever fast, probably over Cafu. Then came Go On, salute the soldier for the top and appreciated. Ugatai, Sanad Libya, Dubai icon, a few lengths back to Roman Rosso, then the great collection and prevent. It might have mattered more to Hypothetical, and he got it done by a length from Remorse, who, bless him, has chased really, really hard in second. Good old battle for third between ever fast, who I think just got it from Cafu. I don't think there's going to be much there to concern the connections of life is good or hot rod charlie but hypothetical got the job done yeah and like you said it was his best opportunity to win a grade one uh Mikel barcelona did a great job of negotiating that host of 14 getting over getting the lead even made a middle move to make sure that uh he had the lead all by himself and at that point the horse just got into a comfortable pace and was able to best the rest of these uh, like you said, Remorse ran a top race. That horse is always a hard-knocking type, and, uh, you know, it was down to them. But, hypothetical, it was his night. Remorse's fab run in second probably means that his owners, Al Rashid Racing, will go into World Cup with two horses, Al Nafud, who skipped this, and this horse. I'd imagine he'll do enough to get invited now. That was a super run from a nice little horse. But this hypothetical's had an interesting career. He's always been a very good horse. He came over here from the yard of John Gosden relatively early on in, in his career after he just had four starts. Just loved the dirt straight away. And there's no reason that he would love it being by Lope de Vega out of a whip and mare, but just adapted to it fine. Yeah, he sure has. And, uh, you know, ran some big races here. And, uh, you know, you, you feel good for a horse like him that's been knocking on the door, looking for a big win like this, uh, puts himself in a great position for World Cup night. Like you said, you have to be fairly realistic that, uh, you know, all of these horses come out of this race are going to have to improve quite a bit to probably uh, have a say in it. But that being said, uh, the, you know, barn of hypothetical has to be uh, happy with this run. And uh, he did all the running and uh, it was definitely the best, best horse in the race by far. Yeah, he always seemed to have it under control. There was a moment when remorse kind of got to him and, mm. and, and you thought, is he going to go on? But he's always just not quite getting there. And I imagine Mikhail felt fairly comfortable for most of the race. Yeah, and Mikhail is great at this. I mean, he's done this time and time again to where he's been able to get, get the lead, slow it down a little bit, give his horse just a little bit of a breather, and then uh, kick away around the turn. I mean, I would say that he's 
Definitely. We've run against him a couple times where he's been on horses that have had that kind of uh, running style, and it's dangerous. I mean, uh, when you have a jockey that has that kind of quality uh, feel for pace and what his horse is doing underneath him, giving him a breather, all of that, it becomes extra dangerous. Such a good jockey on all surfaces. Of course, Mikhail already won the Dubai World Cup. He's won a derby. He's won all sorts of things. Derby in the UK, of course. Um, remorse, flying the flag for good old sale grads, isn't he? Really refusing to lie down in second, but never quite going to be as good as the winner. And, and, and you mentioned Mikhail. You know, the horse was drawn in 14, as we said. He did a good job to get him across. And then we'll look at it again in a minute, but he sort of swapped places with Everfast, which was weird, because Everfast had the rail and then Mikhail's ended up on it. Yeah, and it was just that, that middle move to where he squeezed Everfast out, and the jockey of Everfast seemed to be okay with that, but uh, at that point, you know, Patrick Dobbs did let that horse get the lead, but you know, maybe Patrick felt he just didn't have the horse underneath him to be able to go with him, but wherever it was, I think that gave this horse a distinct advantage to just get that breather that he needed to be able to pull it away, and as you said, remorse looked like he had a possibility in there but the way hypothetical just always kept the length between him and the other horse it just seemed like uh, he was able to he would be able to do it if you were going around again so uh, you know I don't think there was ever a real threat in remorse no I don't think there was either and Salem has not had the best season by his own high standards last year he was vying for championship honors really for most of the campaign this year they've, they've just been a little bit quiet They've had good successes from, you know, the likes of Rich and Famous at, at a much lower level, but kind of really lack their, 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 their top horses. As we said, they came in the other night on the domestic car with a few strong chances and didn't manage to, to win with, with Hyde Park, who they quite fancied. And they're one of their best horses, Panadol, who was second in the UA Derby last year and, and, and was such a smart horse, they even considered going over to Kentucky Derby. They even paid the supplementary fee. He's obviously been on the, the sidelines, as I mentioned earlier on. So things haven't gone entirely well for the team at, at Fazer Racing. So I guess when you've had a bit of a lean spell, victories like this mean all the more. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, no matter what the regular season holds, uh, you kind of have new life coming into these big nights. And a, a win like this and Al Maktoum Challenge Round 3 uh, is a quality win and one I'm sure the bar, barn feels great about. Yeah, I'm sure they do. They're a big operation, as you can see. Salem is, of course, partially sighted. So he does a lot of it by doing what he's doing there, really feeling the horses. Um, he does a lot of it by listening to the horses. And he's got some very good assistance 